moist on gambling shrimps. I I see gambling's become kind of fucking big these days. Yeah, what about it? That's a little dangerous. Easy I've never shit? had a problem with it, but uh, I see a lot of young people. Mm-hmm. Like, not here, not necessarily yeah. here, but I was watching. So he was watching book, book, book. Okay, and so. it seems a bit dangerous. Uh, I think. Until you hit book, book, book. When you see one of your favorite streamers get like a huge payday and you're like an impressionable 15, 16 year old. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me think about this. Wait a minute. Isn't, isn't, isn't that kind of like when we used to open the cards? Like you did on, a, on his stream? Where we open the cards have a whatever value that is really marketed for children? Wait a minute. And then we screamed when we got a card that was worth four, five, six thousand. Hold up. Guys, I'm seeing some similarities here, boys. Guys, I'm seeing some similarities. XQC reacted to your take on gambling streams. He got you good. I'm sure he did. He's wrong. Dude. Gamba's fine. Uh, he probably brought up Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh card openings, which is a low IQ take co to compare blackjack losses and actual gambling to opening fucking cards where all you do is lose money, which is the fun of it. Thanks to tier one meth smoker. I saw LSF taking that stance. This guy opened Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards, hypocrite. Like how dumb do you have to be to compare literal fucking gambling to opening cardboard, where I literally say every time it's net losses for fun. Thanks to the Prime Maxis and Resub Banana. He does it for fun too, though. Ah, yes, seventy thousand dollars in the hole. Yeehaw! Or making four hundred k. That's huge. Now take that to someone who doesn't understand the big ups and downs of gambling. I have no problem watching gambling streams. In fact, I enjoy quite a few streamers that do like uh, poker and shit. But there's a big difference between that and being sponsored to gamble. On stream. To promote the gambling.